Nick. And I'm Mel. And we've brought the hot desk to Global Gathering because we're going to interview... The Prodigy. <laughs> Welcome to the hot desk. It is The Prodigy. <laughs> so excited. We're so happy you guys are here. Um, before we start the interview, what we ask all the artists is uh, to pick a song to play very softly under the interview. It could be any song of your choice, any song of yours, any B-side, any anything. To create atmosphere. To create a nice atmosphere. Some kind of monster. Some kind of monster. You've got to think of who's at the camera and Metallica will come on. So we go all over the country with this desk. <laughs> Why are we here at Global Gathering with it? Why have you brought us here with the desk? Um, well, we're doing a little ravey event tonight, um, playing on a big stage over there. Mm -hmm. and and we want to see you dance. Yeah, oh, you will. Yeah. 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 So you said the new album is a party album. I okay. think so, yeah. Uh, was there anything in the recording process that helped it keep up beat? <laughs> I didn't let anyone hear it as we were... Yeah. No one heard it apart from us as we were making it. Um, but, yeah, we, we, we messed around for five months, sort of... Uh, keeping the party spirit alive and then we had to sort of strain it out to sort of get it finished. You know what I mean? But wasn't so, there was a, a particular track on there you didn't like? Oh, that is yeah, correct. Smell, yeah, stand up. <laughs> yeah, it's the last yeah. one. It sounds like Robbie Williams and Kobe Minogue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, because in being your biggest fan, I'm allowed to have comments on your album. There you go. I mean, be quite honest, uh, we, we like people with both negative and positive. <laughs> Now that you keep doing like rock festivals and dance festivals, you can kind of do both now. Is there a difference in audience? And if so, who are the better audience? When you do like a dance event and, and a rock event, it's the same atmosphere, same vibe, but when you do a rock event, you get a few more shoes on the stage. I was going to say, is there more pee and spit? <laughs> the guy who does side of stage for us, he's got a whole outfit. I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've collected his, his whole autumn collllection for this year from from the fans. Uh, Europe nice. so you've got, you know you've got some Italian you style, now. a bit of German a bit of French <laughs> um, as a band what have been your three greatest moments uh, doing the hot desk that's number one that springs to mind love you yeah. <laughs> I, I just think uh, you know well, you're gonna answer it yeah now. I'm gonna <laughs> answer it in, in a serious <laughs> manner I think first it was it was it's got to be doing the parties that we used to we used to go to, being able to take our music there and go to them and get in for nothing, wasn't it? You know, that's yeah. got. A, uh, we felt really triumphant and re, re, uh, sort of, they would really broke. Standing it. on the stages we used to go to is, is like raving. Yeah, I think that was you know that was our only goal. So I mean that's that's got to be. And what about one. like first number ones and everything? Is that not really? None of that really bothered us. You know, we really honestly didn't know. And didn't care. Yeah. It's more yeah. exciting to, to be I was a... more embarrassed about it, to be honest. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, for real. Like, I was embarrassed that the record had gone because it took us out of the rave scene. It was like, yeah, yeah. it was like suddenly we were, they were trying, it was like we were something else separated from it. Cause... I, mean, I think the, another highlight is actually our first gig abroad. Yeah. When, you know, going to, yeah. going to, going to um, Italy. We earned our Italy. first million then. Going to Italy, yeah, wow. a million that was lira, quite exciting. <laughs> three hundred quid. <laughs> uh, Liam, you have your own label. What piece of advice would you give a new artist? And actually, everyone can. On your on. label, um, don't join. Don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every bit of music I'm hearing is people trying to sound like us. Do you know what I mean? So every, every CD That's I'm getting get is like, it. yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like always sounds like the Prodigy. So I mean, don't sound like us. Maybe. Good advice. Um, to like, if you wanna get our attention to get signed to our label, you know. Come original, yeah. man. Come yeah, be original. OK, right, I'm going to show you chronologically. Get it right. You already pre-planned it, haven't you? No, we just did it quickly. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. OK, right, now we're going to ask you some questions and please point to which album this would uh, be most uh, appropriate. Yeah, exactly. Represent, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the time when you were the happiest and, and saddest, so each year. Okay, yet. happiest, saddest. Maxim. Maxim. Happiest, saddest. No. <laughs> no, I'm exactly the same. The time you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, up there. that's up there, and that's yeah. kind of like that. That's, okay. that's, time that's, that's the void there. <laughs> All right, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, the time uh, when you all got on the best. 
I think the new one, you know. Yeah. This one? Yeah. So is that I think, I don't know, I think we kind of, as we got older, that... we've kind of learned to deal with each other's <laughs> like you know, together. I think it was like this. OK. I like this, like, equaliser. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think as the time's gone on, we've definitely, like, yeah, we've just, we kind of understand where each other's spaces are. And okay, that, ready? Right. Okay, this is the favourite things round, okay? <laughs> favourite sandwich filling. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll go to you last. We'll start with you. Sandwich filling. I don't eat sandwiches. Huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't really don't eat, eat sandwiches. sandwiches. More of a baguette man, but you know. Okay, a bit, a bit that's, of ham. A, that's a ham sandwich. That's fine. <laughs> okay, favourite sandwich filling? You don't eat sandwiches? Not really. Okay, egg right, mayonnaise. <laughs> egg mayonnaise with cheese and onion crisps. There okay, go. that's good. Okay, yeah, favourite number? Oh, Seven Eleven or sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Smell. Uh, vanilla. Fish food. Okay. <laughs> favourite word? Dinghy. Dinghy. Or canoe. <laughs> canoe. <laughs> okay. Favorite chocolate bar. Uh, Got to be dairy milk all the time. Yeah, dairy milk, man. Oh, it's a boring, isn't it? A boost. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh no, no. Let's readdress this. Oh no. No, no. no Toberon. Toberon. Well, let's just. Because no, I'm, just, I'm no. just picturing a. It's got only by the airport. Chocolate itself. No, Keith. I said chocolate bar, right? Yes. Oh, it's got they... a bounty for me. Okay, uh, all right. October, I'll take that back. Ah, see, they had to change it. Finally, Mel, what Okay, is it? now every week on the hot desk, we play our favourite game. This is called Call, Text or Reject. And basically, we're going to give you three names, and they all want to collaborate with you on your new album. Okay. Go nick the names. Chemical Brothers, Moby and David Bowie. Well, Moby's reject. Okay. Yeah, straight off. Okay, no one's ever done that first. No, yeah. No one's ever rejected first. Wow, I'd call Bowie, yeah, no, I'd say, yeah, 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 that's how I'd, yeah. Well, guys, can I just say, all that remains for you now is to sign the desk. <laughs>